Okay, welcome race fans. Uh, this is the Wild Wild West zones, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 14. Ah, I can't believe I can remember that. Uh, Fastest lap for Anderson, 149.2. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Uh, we are at uh, Catalonia uh, in Barcelona. Um, great track, uh, scary track. One that I've struggled with a little bit for a couple of different reasons. One is it is a very difficult track when we're in the Porsche Cup car, but also two because I've got some new gear that I'm still acclimating to. So I have had my fair share of incidents trying to rev up for this, but I've also put in a lot of laps. So I'm hoping that eventually just the sheer lap count of what I've been doing this week is going to catch up and going to produce some results. Okay, we've got five minutes to go here. Just a real quick uh, driver's briefing. Most of you guys know the drill. Welcome to uh, race two of series two of the uh, Wild West Zones uh, races here on the West Coast. I see we have a few guests tonight. Uh, this is an official race for the uh, WWZ League uh, for points for the uh, for the championship and for qualifying for the, uh, the zone uh, runoffs with the National PCA. So. Uh, all guests are welcome. This is op open league for everybody in PCA, but just uh, please be very uh, courteous and cognizant that the people are racing for points out there. Uh, please be careful coming back on the track. Uh, there's quite a few spots here where the car gets a little loose and can go off. Uh, please be careful. Keep your relative up. Watch for cars coming back. I know it sucks, but sometimes it means waiting till the whole train goes by. So uh, please do that. Try not and force your way back on and cause more calamities. Tonight's race is uh, our usual 40-minute race. There is no quick repairs, so please look after your car. The qualifying is a three-lap, 10-minute loan qualifying. Please try and keep the uh, chatter off the radio. Uh, just keep uh, it to business. Uh, you can, uh, people are welcome to use Discord to uh, chat away if they want. As a reminder, uh, there's uh, uh, paint templates for each class in the uh, WWZ uh, League. Uh, they're available on our uh, web page. Uh, so if you haven't applied it to your car yet, please uh, uh, go to the web page, grab the appropriate uh, template, and apply it. There are some instructions there on how to do it. And if you don't uh, have that skill or you need some help, uh, please reach out to any of the community members. Uh, that's about all I have. Let's have fun tonight and try and keep her clean. And remember, there's a bonus uh, points for uh, zero incidents, so that should be uh, people's uh, have a, a goal in people's minds as well. Any questions? I'm a pit stop, so I'm uh, there's any required. You'll require one pit stop. For fuel, now, I can't uh, talk to other damage you may incur, but uh, for fuel, one pit stop. All right, thank you. You know, what we guys are doing for a refuel count as in and out to be put in. I'm seeing a total of about 16 gallons needed. If I allow a gallon or so for an extra lap. We got some new folks tonight, so we're asking some questions, which is uh, good. Also, some guests, as you heard Rodney say. We're uh, we're pretty excited. We've actually grown uh, the Wild West zones pretty well. Uh, we've over doubled the number of registrants, specifically in our uh, respective zones, which is pretty exciting. Thanks for coming out, everybody. It's good to see a big field of cars. This should be a lot of fun. And uh, that, of course, is fielding uh, a bigger grid, and uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. So this is uh, exciting times for the WWZ, and. Uh, Looking forward to a yeah, really good race. We've got 31 cars on the grid here tonight, so that's good. 31 total cars. That's awesome. Another minute or so, and then we'll start qualifying. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, Rodney. Thanks, Rodney.
So I've got uh, 3.2 gallons in the tank for qualifying, so a little bit of a lighter load to try to go a little bit faster, qualify a little bit better, and I'll switch that back up and put 10.6 in, which is the maximum. Uh, Just so everybody's aware, though, when we have guests in and we're doing the points for the races, we take the guests out for the uh, WWZ points. So even if you finish second and you had a guest, you know, in front of you, you will get the first place uh, points uh, based on your uh, position within the WWZ. WZ drivers. That's the end of the session. 22nd place. Is uh, Bill a guest? <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. And uh, Derwin's not a guest. Yeah, I yeah, know that. Good luck qualifying, everybody. Good luck. Pit exit's clear. Okay, Chip. We've got three laps to get the job done. Nice and easy. This tires are crazy. Track temperature's decreasing. It's now 76 Fahrenheit. I really have to get used to these pedals because I keep catching my foot because it's different placement than my other pedals. Okay, here we go. This is for the real one. Wish that was true. Wish there was real money involved. Come on, turn, baby. Place. Two laps of fuel remaining. It's not horrible. A 
little brake lock up there. Good for the heart. there I think. Probably scrub a little speed off. B18, you've only got enough fuel for this lap. You're now 3.1 off the pace. Turn in. One gallon left. Thank you, Jim. lap I think was slower than other laps or was it we'll actually see first things first though critically important that I switch my setup because that would be a horrible horrible thing cool so I'm back to my 10.6 setup so let's just quickly look at my qualifying laps Oh, my third lap was my fastest. One, five, two, six, seven, seven. Not stellar. My fastest lap uh, is a 151.5. That's the fastest that I've ever gone. Um, but in just sort of looking, um, after last week, I did wind up first in the points for the sport uh, um, class um, after last week's race. And I got a zero incident race, which gave me an extra point. So I'm two points ahead of Jeff Williams who I out-qualified this race. So um, that is all stellar. That's positive. Um, Frazier. Oh my God, is he fast. Jonathan, where did that lap come from? Congrats. Yeah. 
and Arnie Clayson. He actually had misfortune in the last race at Interlagos, and uh, otherwise he, he was probably class of the field in terms of sport. There are four classes in this race. There's pro, at the top of the class. There is club, um, and they're designated orange. Um, pro is blue. And then there's sport, which is green. That's a class that I'm in. And then there's red, which is challenge. And most of the people that are in challenge are either new to sim racing or new to PCA um, sim racing. And that's the end of the session, 20th uh, place. A really good example of someone that's probably going to move up very, very fast is Frazier. Frazier's in the challenge class right now, but he's faster than a lot of the sport guys, which uh, he's done a lot of racing, both I racing and I think he's done a lot of track days. Um, so he's he's pretty accomplished already. He's just coming back. <clears throat> well done, Jonathan. I recognize that green car anywhere. Hey guys, let's take her easy on the first lap. Remember, cold tires, lots of corners. Take it easy. 40 minute race, lots of time. So, wish me luck. 40 minutes. The track temp is 75 Fahrenheit. And the uh, tip of the day is don't pay attention to who's behind you. Follow Sorry, car number 29 in, in the left lane. Okay, Chip, get ready. Green, green, green. Sorry, Steven. It's all good. The 
There's an incident in turn two. It looks like Chen. There's an incident in turn eight. Damn it. I think I just need to stop wearing the clown shoes when I drive, because it's kind of getting in my way. Rob Cottle suggested that maybe I wear my full clown get out for one of our team races. I might do that later this season. Comment on this video if you think I should. Seventeenth place. There's an incident in turn two. It looks like Patterson. So I drive slow enough to pay off a penalty. <laughs> That's awesome. Chen is reeling you in. The gap's now 1.0. Alright Chip, ignore that fucker in the mirror, stick to your line, nail those exits. P16. Incident in turn two. Come on, push like a bastard, we'll get this guy. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate.
Sector 3 is 1.7 off the pace. OK, Chip, the next car is Chen. I'm aware. We predict your refuel window will open after 18 minutes and closes at about 29 minutes. I really wish Jim would tell me what time it is now. We're about 8.36 into the race. There's an incident in turn 10. Yellow flag, caution. Sector 3 is 1.5, off the pace. The gap to Marshall behind is now 3.0. There's an incident in turn 12. There's an incident in turn 13. There's Arnie.
slow coming into that hairpin because I just don't trust I can turn in. Sector 3 is 1.3 off the pace. Marshall behind is now 1.3 seconds. Yeah, he's reeling me in a little bit. Sector 2 is 1.4 off the pace. Sector 3 is 2.1 off the pace. There's no 7th gear. Something that's really kind of cool about Frazier behind me, I autocrossed with him. He came up to Redwood autocrosses quite a bit uh, over the years. He is a very competitive guy. Not, not in an unfriendly way. He's a very friendly guy. He's very competitive. So I know it's driving him nuts back there behind me right now. Because I think both he and I both know he's a better driver than I am, ultimately. Getting a little bit closer every lap. I know Rick said not to worry about the people behind you, but it's kind of hard not to. slow down a little bit.
Alright. The gap to Marshall behind is now 1.4 seconds. Sector 2 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. now 6.2 Incident in turn eight. It looks like it's McNeil. It has 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes. Okay, Chip. Half distance should be about 10 minutes of fuel left. Should have stayed behind you, huh? That's me on the right. There's an incident in turn 16. We think it might be McNeil. for a second, I've shifted to six, missed my downshift, and missed the turn. God, that's disappointing. Stay focused, Chip. That's the rule. See that ridge? I was actually thinking of somebody in front of me, and it cost me. Is All right. six seconds off the pace. There's an incident in turn 15. is reeling you in. The gap is now 6.5. They're faster than us in two. Turn one. That's Rick. All right, Chip. Keep it nice and smooth. Come on. Let the race come to us. 16th place.
Incident in turn four. It looks like Chen. stutter there in my video, that's scary. You're reeling Williams in the gaps now, 2.9. They're pretty slow into turn 15. Sector 2 is 1.2, off the pace. Thank you, man. There's an incident in turn 15. It looks like it's Chen. Of course. Incident in turn 16. <laughs> 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. That's my cue. Lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Okay, Chip, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. So 300 feet. 100 feet. Thank you, Volker. There's traffic approaching. Watch your mirrors. Focus. At the end of the Thanks, Andrew. All good. Steven, go on my right side. It's Jeff. I'll let you in. Okay, Chip, you're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 1.8. P19. The gap to McNeil behind is increasing. It's now 9.9 .9 seconds.
Hitting in, Chip. Copy that. Right above, nice. The car behind's pitting now. Thank you. Okay, Chip, ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Williams, ahead is now 10 seconds. Horrible hairpin. Yeah, right the brakes all the way through the hairpin, Chip. Don't let the wheels bite in or anything. That's just silly. <laughs> Everybody at home so on he's not fast, but he sure is having fun. There's truth to that. There's an incident in turn two. We think it might be McNeil. Damn it. That was interesting. I don't think I've heard of that noise before. That was me hitting the accelerator and the brake simultaneously, folks. Clown shoes, I'm telling you. They are not for the weak. I'm sure I'm gonna get somebody asking, really we're in clown shoes? Williams, Williams, ahead is increasing. It's now 11 seconds. Sector 2 is 1.5 seconds off the pace. Yes, I really worry about this. I do own a pair. In case there's any doubt that race car drivers, and I mean real race car drivers, not me, do real work, I am sweating up a storm just in what you've seen me do thus far in 33 minutes. Your real race car. Heat's amazing, the G-forces are intense, and you're having to muscle the car around the track. And oh man, these guys are at me, no joke. There's an incident in turn eight.
Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Go ahead. Okay, Chip. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Keep it nice and smooth. Come on. Let the race come to us. There's an incident here. Turn three. Push now, we can catch this guy. The guy in front is Williams. To eight seconds off the road. I don't think we're gonna catch Jeff this race. Listen, he does what he did last race. Miss the pedal, miss the pedal. Grab my left arm. The captain Williams in front is now 8.9. So I know what you guys are thinking. And yes, I'm a right foot breaker. Deal with it. Join the inside, Jeff. Thanks, man. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Yeah, the only downside to the point system we're using for this particular championship is that everybody, even if you place higher than them, they're not that far behind you in a single race. So my first place in the first race, even with bonus points, is likely I'm probably going to fall down to... Incident in turn 16, we think it might be race. Jen. Which is unfortunate. Steven's having a rough race. It's the third time I think I've heard his name. He's still faster Kirk, than me, even though he had offs, he's still ahead of us. Thank you. Okay, Chip. The next car yep. is Chen. By four seconds. He's been off, I think, three times, and he's still off ahead of us by three seconds. For four seconds.
There's an incident in turn seven. Incident in turn eight. Thanks, Michael. Thank you, Stacy. Estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. P17. Get him, Steven. Thanks, James. White flag, one more to go. Thanks, okay, Bill. Thank you, good racing, man. Sorry for whoever I bumped in the carousel in the second to last lap. I, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. You're a tenth off in sector one. Thanks, Michael. That's pretty fun Just there, two Brian. Left, two minutes to go. Yeah, that was fantastic. The car in front of us is Williams. There's an incident in turn 10. It looks like Chen. No! Oh, now I got a black remaining. flag. Make sure you serve it before you cross the finish line. You good Grayson guys. Looks pretty clean out there for the most part. A few incidents. Just a reminder, there's a uh, committee steering committee meeting in this board here in about five minutes or so after a little quick fire break. There's an incident in turn one. So these, uh, Baseline set of the tires are only good for 30 minutes. And then the 16 that's the end of the race. race. Never mind. Hey, West Coast guys, thanks for the host, man. I appreciate you having us over. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. It was a lot of fun having a full field. Great race at everybody, and uh, guests, thank you for coming and joining us. Hope you come back again. Um, who isn't loving this track right now, huh? It's a great track. You really want me to answer that? Yeah, not me, Chip. Didn't like it a week ago, but I really warmed up to it. Got a pretty good flow to it. Little tricky. Looking forward to Zanford. Zanford should be great. I've never driven that track, so looking forward to practicing. Perhaps at Daytona tomorrow. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I got a middle of the night stench. Ooh, ooh.
Anyway, I'm gonna go get some shut eye. You guys uh, take care. Watch your speed. Three hundred feet. One hundred feet. All right. Well, there you have it. The race uh, is over. So we'll come back with a recap and uh, wrap up here in uh, in a little bit. Thank you. So the wrap up uh, at, from Barcelona's race uh, tonight. Um, okay results, I guess. If we actually take a quick peek at the iRacing official results, um, we still see that Bill Anderson uh, won the race overall with uh, Jonathan Waltman and Rich Minkler um, coming in second and third overall. Of course, uh, this doesn't break us down by class. Um, and if we actually kind of go through the list here, we see some pro guys, some club guys. Da, da, da. So Matt Mardini um, is our first sport place finisher. Um, had a really good race. Fastest lap of 150.9. Um, and an average of 154. So he was out there moving. Um, only seven incident points did pretty well. Um, the next guy in our class, I believe, is Arnie. Um, and so Arnie got second place in sport. And then you come down a little bit further and you find Jeff, who got third in sport. I finished right behind Jeff. Um, had a couple of interesting incidents uh, tonight that uh, cost me. Um, if we actually look at my laps real quick here, we can actually pull these up and uh, have a look here. Um, that lap three off track was uh, accident avoidance where I went off, um, actually got a little bit of a slowdown penalty um, in the process. So that really wasn't my fault. It just happened. Um, here, I believe um, I lost focus talking about Arnie. I think that that was the one that I went off track. Um, and then um, I spun coming into the section where the uh, chicane is, right before pit entrance. Um, and uh, turned my fastest lap finally towards the end of the race, uh, finally found my groove um, with a 152.7 as my fastest lap, which isn't, isn't too shabby. Um, as I said earlier, my fastest lap on the track all week was a 151.5. So um, I, I found that speed completely by accident one lap. That's one lap I did a 151 this week. Uh, all my other fastest laps were in the 152 range, so uh, this is on par with, with what I was expecting to be a pretty fast lap for me. Um, and then that last lap, oh my gosh, uh, Stephen Chin had that unfortunate spin. His car, uh, talked with him after the race a little bit, and he said that his car had been damaged. He had been hit from behind a couple of times, uh, had some problems, and so his car was actually wrecked and rolling um and uh he he spun and uh, got into somebody else and I, I had nowhere to go um i tried to do my best to get slowed down and inside enough that i could get around but i scraped the other car and got a 4x so i got a total of 8x um four were legitimately mine actually three were legitimately mine one was a accident avoidance and then that 4x at the end that just was one of those things that happened. But all things being equal, it's, uh, it's not horrible. Um, one thing I did want to call out, I want to co congratulate um, Rodney. Got a zero X. Um, he was very proud of that. He made mention of it at least twice uh, in a call that I was just on with him. But we won't give him too much stuff about that because I was pretty pleased with my zero X last week too. That is a tremendous accomplishment on these tracks. Um, uh, is, this, this track is slick as a button and we're driving a really tough car to go around so that to finish as high as he did um and have you know really good i mean his fastest lap is a 150.4 average pace of 153.7 he is in the pro class so you know don't pat him too firmly on the back but a zero x is incredible um because it's the only one that we had tonight i think other than Ed down here at the bottom who got the 0x because he didn't start the race for, for whatever reason. Um, I think he may have had technical issues or, or couldn't stay. But, uh, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty amazing. So congratulations, Rodney. Job well done.
Well, thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the race, and uh, I hope you'll uh, join us next week, as you probably saw when uh, we poked uh, our head in here. Our next track is at Circuit Park Zandvoort. I've literally never driven this track. Like, I don't even think I've driven it in a practice. So uh, it should be a fun experience this week, uh, trying to rev up and uh, get ready to go. So uh, I hope you'll join us uh, next Friday. It'll be a, be a hoot. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>